y'all. It's Kay and Trish with Crafting Cousins. Thanks so much for stopping by. We hope you'll come back often and that you'll subscribe by hitting that little button below. Now, let's craft y'all. Hey y'all, it's Trish with Crafting Cousins Create. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, I hope that you're gonna see something that you like and that you'll end up hitting that subscribe button down below and joining us in our small community. And if you are a returning friend, thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much it truly means to us. Now, it has been a while since I have been over on this channel crafting. I did do a couple of hauls recently and you may remember that in the last haul, I had went to Hobby Lobby and they were clearancing out a lot of their papers and they had some of these scrapbook kits that they had on clearance as well. I picked up three of them. They were regular $6.99 and I got them for $1.74. They have paper in them. They have stickers in them. Some of them have ephemera. This one has ephemera. Um, the one that I ended up using today did not and I didn't realize it until I'd already started it, but that's okay. Um, and I did mention when I was doing the haul that these would be cool to make some little mini journals with. And I had a few people ask if I would show how I would do that. So I'm going to show you today a very simple journal made out of one of these kits. Now the one that I ended up using is the cute butterflies kit and it has all these papers in here and I have already cut some of them up or I would just show you the papers and I will show you some but just know that they are already cut up because there was some things I needed to go ahead and get done ahead of time just for time purposes. You got these pretty butterfly paper, some purple um, with dots on it. This has flowers and butterflies, then this striped, and then some with just butterflies in the corners, which I think is so pretty. You also get two different kinds of stickers. These are 3D embellishment stickers, and then these are clear stickers, and then you also get some alphabet stickers. Now, this was the one that I chose to use for today because I love the butterfly it's always been a thing of mine um, but I didn't pay attention when I started doing this for the cover of our journal we're going to need a piece of non-directional scrapbook paper and I meant to use this purple paper I thought it was really pretty but guess what I cut it up without even thinking I cut it up to use in my signatures just like I did this and now I don't have a piece to use for my cover, but that's okay. We'll use one of the other pieces. This is that purple paper. You can see this is half of a sheet. And then this is the one that had the flowers and the butterflies. I think this is pretty too, but it is directional. See, these butterflies are pulling up. And if what I'm going to do, they would not be right if I used a non, I mean a one directional paper. Now, I also have this paper with the butterflies all over it. I have not used either sheet of this, so I can use this in other projects, or I may even use it in this one. And then I have this striped paper, and this is the one that I'm going to use for my cover. Again, not really what I wanted to use, but it'll be okay. I still think it's going to be cute. Y'all know we love pink anyway. So, I am going to... Put all of these aside. I don't need any of these right now. And then in this kit also are these pretty 3D stickers. I love these. And then there are these clear stickers. These are really pretty too to go on some of your papers. And then the alphabet stickers. I'm not going to need the alphabet stickers today. This is a simple journal and I'm not sure how much of it I'm actually going to get done today. I know we'll get it put together, but I doubt we're going to get to the decorating part because we're just going to run out of time. I know we will. Okay. I also have already created two signatures to go in my journal. Now, when I create my signatures, I use all kinds of paper. You can just use plain old paper if you're just wanting to journal on it. That is perfectly okay. Um, 
I like to have all different kinds in here. You can see I used some of my paper out of my kit. I had some lined paper from an old notebook I had. I've got a piece of vellum in here. I do have just some plain paper. This is some pink lined paper. And then this is just plain old copy paper that I have ran through my embossing machine and it's embossed. And that's just kind of how it goes. I took a page out of a book that I had that I've been using in journals. And then I also have a little bag. I cut one end of it off. I ran it through my embosser to give it some texture. And I used that in there. And that's kind of how I do my signatures. Now, of course, again, you can just use line paper. You can use plain paper. This is your journal. You use it however you want to do it. Okay, so now for the cover of this. This is going to be really simple. This is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And we are just going to fold this. Now, I do want to fold it in half because I want it to be six inches. And I'm not gonna use my scoreboard today. And I chose not to do that because I do realize that not everyone has one. And I want to show you how you can still do these projects even if you don't have one. So I'm just going to fold that in half. And I am going to use my bone folder just to get a nice crease in it. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a credit card. You can use one of the scrapers like you use um, for your Cricut machine or something. I got this, I think, at Hobby Lobby for like 2 or $3, and they're well worth the investment. Okay, so now that I have this folded, I am going to take it and open it up, and this piece is going to become pockets all the way across. So I don't want it to be all the way to the top. So I'm going to grab my ruler and I am going to tear my paper. Now, I love a deckled edge on my paper. I just, I always have, I don't know what it is about it. I am not measuring this, but it looks like I'm, I'm about two inches down. If you're wanting measurements, I'm just going to tear it. Now, how far down you tear it is how deep your pocket's going to be. So you tear it where you want it. Now, whenever I fold this up, I'm going to have pockets there. I'm going, I think I'm going to use my pink ink here. Now, you can use any ink you want. I actually got this ink off of Amazon. It was a little pack that I got that had all of these inks in it with the different colors. And it's got some bright colors in it. But you see that once you start putting it on, it really isn't that bright but it does make those edges stand out when you put them against that white there and i really like that i do i like that okay now i'm also going to take this and i'm going to put something under it so i don't get it all over my mat and i'm going to just kind of go around these edges here i don't like it to be plain white Normally, I would have tea dyed this, but I didn't think it would all tea dye nicely. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to have some white sometimes. It can be really pretty and bright. And I'm just going to go around these edges. And I am also going to hit these edges. And I'll do this side as well. And I am going to go all the way around. I may round off these corners. I have not exactly decided yet. I have in my head how I want this to look. But, y'all, I change my mind as I go. Do you do that when you're working on your projects and you start seeing how it's coming together and then you just start changing things? And that's what I do. I love it. Okay, so now I have that done. Okay, now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to lay my paper on it. Since I'm not using my scoreboard, I am going to just line it up and I'm going to come to about three and a quarter inches in. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to fold it. Okay, so we're just gonna fold that. We'll get that there and then use our bone folder. Just like that. I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to go to six and a half inches 
and I'm going to fold it there. May go over just a little more. You want to leave a little bit of area for your signature. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to go over just a little hair over six and a quarter, maybe six, uh, I mean six and a half, maybe six and three quarters, not sure. Okay, and we are going to fold that. That gives us that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We are going to, I'm not even going to measure it this time. Well, actually, let's see. We have a little less than two inches left. So I'm going to go over about right here and fold it again. So that is about one and three quarters inch from this edge. Okay. So I'm going to fold it again and then use my bone folder. All right. And this is going to be our cover. Now, when we open it up, it folds out and you see that we have our little journal. And you can see that our signature is going to fit right here in this corner. And then I'm going to put another signature here in this one. And then this is going to fold over. And let's see, I'm going to come over. Okay, let me take these back out, this one anyway. I'm going to come over maybe an eighth of an inch from where I folded that the first time. And I'm going to make another fold. There we go. And that's just going to kind of give it like a little spine there. And that's going to help once we get our signatures in. See, now that's going to help. And see how it sits now? Yep, and that's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to look right there. All right. So let me take these signatures back out and we're going to do a little bit of gluing. Now, whenever you fold this, you notice that it sticks out a little bit. That's okay because once you put your glue on, that's going to fix that. So I am going to come just right here along this edge here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, you can also put a little bit of glue um, down these folds if you want to so that your pockets are glued down. But when we put our signatures in, it is going, we're going to be sewing in to this one and this one. So I really don't feel like I need it. Um, I may put some, nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to glue those. Because I think everything else we do is going to fix that. All right, so now I've got my glue. I'm going to press this one down just like that. A little bit of glue there. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to line this one up along the edge. And we're going to press it down as well. Okay. And there you go. Just that easy. All right. Now, this is where we're going to put our closure so I want to do something right here that you're going to be able to see when this is shut. The happy is too big. We could do this that says the best times, or we could do the butterflies. The butterflies are really cute since we're using butterflies. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think we'll put the butterflies there, but I don't want to put them in the middle because that is where I'm going to put my closure. So let's just put those there, just like that. How cute is that? I like that. All right, let's go ahead and put our signatures in, and then I'm going to figure out what all I want to do with these pockets, okay? So I am going to be sewing my signatures in. Please do not let that intimidate you. Please do not. It is not intimidating. I promise you it's not. It's just simple stitches. I'm going to take a piece of my paper that I cut down to use in my signature and I'm going to use this as a template. Now it's folded in half just like my signature is. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to fold it in half this way and that's going to be where I put my middle hole and then I'm going to fold it down about right there. And you notice I'm folding it together because that's going to give me my other two holes. All right, so now I open this up and I have my three points 
where I'm wanting to do my signature. And I'm going to use my awl and I'm going to go ahead and make a little hole there so that I know. All right. And we're going to stick that right there. Now to sew this together, I think I'm going to use some of this thread. I think I'm going to use this dark pink thread. I think this will be pretty to sew these in with. And then we can also use it for our closure. Okay. I have a large needle. This is a darning needle. It has a really big eye on it. And I'm just going to thread my thread up in there. And then we'll cut that off. Now let's take one of our signatures. I think I'm going to put this one in first. Okay. And we are going to make sure everything is lined up and that it's nice and tight. It does. You can see I'm using all different sizes of paper. So those do not have to be even. I think it actually gives it more interest when they're not. But if all of your paper, if you're just using all lined paper or you're using all um, plain paper, then you may want yours to all be the same size. But when you're using all different kinds of papers, then I choose not to. Okay, so now I've got it and you want to push it up in there. Make sure it's lined up the way you want it and push it in there. And then we're going to take our template and we're going to push it in there as well. Okay, just like that. And then holding it just like that, I'm going to take my awl and I'm just going to go right through there. I've got mine a little bit thick. And that's going to give me my hole, my first hole, okay? Then we're going to go right here through this one. And this is going to be our top hole. And then we're going to go here through this one. And this is going to be our bottom hole. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave my all there to hold that. And we are going to start our first stitch. We're going to go... We're going to push it through that middle hole and you're going to pull it out making sure you leave a tail here okay and then we're going to come right here and come back through this hole just like that and you want to pull it till it's pretty tight you don't want it too tight because you don't want to tear your holes and then we're going to come down here and we're going to go back through the bottom hole and push it out and then we'll come back here to the center and we're going to go right back in through our center hole we're going to go right back through our center hole there and pull it through and you've just sewn in your first signature just like that now I like to put one string on one side and one string on the other just like this and then you're going to make sure that it's tight just like that. I'll pull this out and I am going to tie it into a knot. Okay. And then we'll cut this off right about there. Now you can tie that in a bow if you would like. I just put mine in a knot so that it's kind of nondescript. And we have our first signature in there. And there we go. Okay. Just like that. Now Let's put our other signature in. Okay, let's make sure we got it all tapped down. And then we're going to open it up and find our center. I'm going to take my template and stick it right there in the center of it. And then we are going to push it into this. Now I'm going to turn it the other way just so that I can get it in there. And we're going to do the same thing. We now have a journal. We will fold this, then you fold this, and this folds over. And we have our cute little journal, just that easy. We even already have our decoration on the front of it. Now, 
these are little they're meant to be little so you don't want to put too much in it or you're not going to be able to close it now you are going to have some leeway you know but you don't want to put really thick things in there because if so you're not going to be able to close it now for our closure here i'm actually going to use an eyelet i get these in the sewing department at hobby lobby you can get them pretty much anywhere even at walmart and I'm just going to kind of eyeball. I want it to be in the center. And I'm going to use my crocodile. And I'm going to punch a hole there in the center. I don't want to get too close to the edge because it can pull through. So maybe right there. And that's going to punch the hole. Then I'm going to stick my eyelet down into my hole. I used the wrong side. <laughs> I was worried about it being too big, so I used the little side, and that's not the right size for my eyelet, okay? Now we can stick this down in there, just like that. And then the center part, if you don't have a crop of dial, the center part is going to set this for us. There is a little piece that sticks out right here, and then there's a um, piece over here where it just sits down in it. You are going to push it there just like that, line it up, and then press and that sets your eyelet just like that these are it's by we are memory keepers you can get them on amazon i actually got mine at joann's they put these on sale ever so often at joann's and then they also had a coupon for 25 percent off your total order and when they do that they will let you use it even if it's on sale. So I used that 25% off coupon and it was on sale and I got it for like $20. So they can be really expensive, but if you get them like that, they're not so bad. Okay, so now we have our eyelet in there and that is going to work for our closure. And I think I'm going to use some more of this string. Um... I'm going to measure it off 24 inches and then fold it in half and measure another. So 48 inches. Now I may not need all of this, but I would rather have too much than not enough. Okay. Now I am going to fold this in half and stick it through my eyelet. And then I open up the loop and pull the tails through and pull. And that's going to give me my closure, just like that. And then we're just going to wrap it around, and that will close up our journal. Now, for the end of mine, let's see how much. Okay, one, two. I think that's about right. Okay. So, I'm going to take the ends of my string here. And I like to put just a little bit of glue on the end of it. You don't even really have to press your glue. Just get whatever's on the end there and press it together and twist. And that joins them together. And it's going to make it a little bit easier to put my beads on. Then I'm just going to thread my beads onto my string. We'll push that up in there. And if you can't get it, I like to use a pen and just push it right on through. And then we'll do the other one, same way. Just like that, we have our beads on there. And now we'll take our charm and we are going to stick it on the end, just like that. And I am going to tie it into a knot. Now I'm going to put a little bit more of my glue onto this. And I'm going to join it with this piece up here. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I can pull my bead back down and it should go up into my bead. Yep, just like that. And it comes all the way down to my knot. Okay, I'll pull my other bead down as well. And then I am going to tie a double knot right up above my bead to kind of hold it in place so that they're not running up and down my closure. So I'll put one there. That may be all I need. It is. Okay, so I only needed one. So there we go. Now all we do is take it and wrap it around our journal. And then we can push it up under here just like this. And there is our cute little closure.
And then we open it up and we've got our pockets here. I have some tags. Since this one didn't have ephemera in it, um, I pulled some tags that I had made a while back. I keep these in a little thing that I have over there. I am not going to decorate it today. I think we've spent enough time already. So when I come back again, I'll show you how I'm going to decorate my pockets. And you can see that we just got some cute little tuck spots here that we can put our tags into. Flip it over. Stick another one in. You could even, if you've got one small enough, you could put one over here. That's just a little too big I would probably have to cut that down some but um that's all there is to it and now you can journal you can use it for a prayer journal whatever you want to use it for so I think that's all we're going to do to our journal today we got it put together when we come back again I'll show you how you can add some more little pockets onto this how we can add on to the ones that we have and maybe do a little more decorating, adding some stickers and stuff. But for the most part, I'm really happy with this. I like to have simple little journals that I can toss in my purse, keep next to my bed or with my Bible. And I don't really want them to be much more than this. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you will join us next week on Thursday. I think Kay's going to be here then. And when we come back the next week, we'll work on our journal a little more. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And if you have any suggestions, we just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. Bye, y'all.